Donald Trump's lawyer, Alina Haba, has once again gone back out there on TV as she does every day, at least once a day at this point, because it has been quite a while since she's spent a day where she hasn't appeared on some kind of conservative media outlet, whether it's in person, on video, or in writing. But she was back out there again after the revelations came out that Donald Trump had the nuclear secrets nuclear capabilities of a foreign country, one of our allies. So anyway, here's Alina Haba attempting to explain away the scandal by, of course, blaming the media. Here it is. Incredibly disturbing to me um, in terms of leaks coming from the Justice Department, the fact that you know we had originally, and let's remember the timeline here, originally there were nuclear codes and the latest and greatest is, you know, there's empty folders. And now they're saying there's top secret information about another country. You know, when you have to defend yourself, stories come out when and that's exactly what I believe they are, just stories. Right. So at this point, if you look at the left wing media's storytelling, it's inconsistent it's outrageous and it's, and, and it's been all over the map. So we're now back full circle to Donald Trump's original claims from back when he was first running for president, that every bad thing published about him is just fake news. We're back to fake news. It's the media somehow colluding uh, with the FBI to leak these stories because they're trying to change the narrative all the time. Right, Alina? That's what you're trying to get at here. Um, let me tell you this, when you have to resort to attacking the press, you've already lost the narrative, especially, especially when you're the lawyer. See, Alina Haba could actually do her client a favor by going on TV and talking about the specifics of the case, citing law, citing precedent, pulling out all the legal stops and explaining clearly, but in legal language to a degree, why Donald Trump is innocent, but she's not doing that. Instead, she does a tremendous disservice to her client by just attempting to become famous because that is the conclusion that I have reached. Keep in mind before being hired by Donald Trump to basically keep him out of prison, Alina Haba's biggest credit to her name was serving as the general counsel to a parking garage. I'm not kidding. A parking garage lawyer is now suddenly representing in the biggest cases in the country, the former president of the United States. And I think it immediately went to her head. She's loving the media attention. You can even tell, by the way, look at, I noticed this in one of the clips from the other day, one clip that I actually showed over at ring of fire, her teeth are getting substantially whiter, whiter, not whiter. That would be weird. But what I noticed about that, right? Her teeth getting whiter is the fact that she is clearly making herself more presentable just for television. That is what she is doing. Go back, look at a clip of her three weeks ago compared to clips of her this week. You'll notice the difference. And I know that's weird and subtle to notice, but this individual only cares about going on TV. She is making a national name for herself. And at the same time, she is doing tremendous harm to the very cases that she is supposed to be defending in court. Let's not forget, as I talked about, you know, just a few days ago, really, uh, Haba did go on TV recently last week, and she basically admitted that a couple of the other Trump lawyers, Christina Bob, Evan Corcoran committed obstruction of justice. And she also implicated herself in that obstruction of justice as well. She is not a good lawyer in my opinion. And, uh, most people that have seen the clips of her also agree, not a good lawyer. She's very bad at this, but she's very good at getting herself on TV. She's very good at making sure she does not turn down a single producer's phone call or email. If you send Alina Haba a request to show up on your network, by God, she's going to be there. She's going to be smiling. She's going to be all made up, ready to talk about whatever the hell you want her to talk about. You want her to spill secrets of the case? She'll spill secrets. You want her to attack the media? She'll attack the media. She'll do whatever you want her to do 
Because for Alina Haba, the case doesn't matter. What matters is the media attention because clearly, I believe this is her attempt at an audition to get her out of her crappy little legal practice and representing parking garages and perhaps become the next star of Fox News or Newsmax. That, I think, is Alina Haba's real goal with taking Donald Trump on as a client. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.